Hey, hey, hey guys, it is XY Coder back here today with a new video. Now today I have a very interesting video, one that is uh, different than anything that I have ever done, um, because I did something that I've never done. Today I was wanting to program all day long, and I was just kind of bored and didn't really have any inspiration. Um, in terms of that game that I've been working on with the zombies, I am probably going to end that project here pretty soon. I might make an official announcement video uh, just because of I, I was I was really looking to make it more of a expand it to like a multiplayer game. And I thought the zombies would just be kind of boring um, and the multiplayer aspect of it just wasn't really working out well in terms of Unity's multiplayer API is just pretty slow and it's gonna be deprecated in like a year or two anyway. So I didn't really wanna um, invest so much time into assets and art and code for that game when it just wasn't ever gonna become anything. So I wasn't working on that today, so I was pretty bored and I was trying to figure out what I should do. Now, uh, as a lot of you know, there are uh, game jams. Game jams are a huge thing for indie developers. Um, I personally have never taken part in one because I just recently started uni using Unity. Uh, but I would really like to uh, do Ludum Dare or something in the next coming months. I think the next one is in April or March, I believe. So I really wanted to do that. So today I had the idea um, while searching for inspiration, why don't I just do like my own personal game jam? Just like nobody else, literally just me. Um, I'll, I'll find like an idea generator or something online, I'll do it and I will make a game based on it and I'll just go for it. So that's exactly what I did. So what I did is I found an idea generator and um, I got the topic, things fit perfectly. And obviously this is kind of, um, kind of obscure like things fit perfectly what am I gonna do with this I mean you could do like a puzzle game where you have like boxes fitting in together or something like that um, or like a sliding puzzle I don't even know so there was a lot of stuff but I did I, personally I just really don't like puzzle games I don't like playing them and I don't like making them because I don't understand them and I don't know how to make them so they're tricky so I was just pretty stuck on the idea so I took a shower um, and I was just thinking in the shower and that took about 15 minutes of my time because I pretty much just started the time right around when I took my shower. Um, and I got to thinking just more abstract and I really liked the, the platformer aspect of that zombie game I was working on. Um, and I was just thinking things fit perfectly, things fit perfectly. And just, I don't even know how the idea came to my head, but I thought of what if you as a player could basically cut yourself in half to solve solve puzzles and complete levels and such. Um, so you cut yourself in half and you control the two halves. So I was thinking, what if I have like my front half on one, like I, I, I just have my person on one plane. Then when I split my body in half, I have my front half, which can walk in, fr in the foreground um, and can get killed by objects. Then I'll have like a middle layer, which is like just the walls and textures and stuff. And then I'll have my back half, which I separately control. And that can walk behind walls and stuff to uh, help out the front half. And I know that might not make sense, but you'll see it later on in this video, how I put it, put it together. And I honestly thought it was a pretty cool idea. So I got right to work. You can see my pixel art is absolute garbage. Um, like I said in the intro, don't judge a man by his art skills because they suck. I am horrible at pixel art. I was liking the pixel art I was doing with that zombie game. But for this one, I just rushed it and they're ugly. And I just, uh, art is not my thing. I need to find some artists uh, big time art and animation was very rushed on this in, on this project so it looks horrible if I ever continue or expand this project I will do it like in my own time without a uh, time frame and spend some more time on it because it's actually a pretty cool concept I think so like I said this was three hours total I spent like a good what like 30 minutes or something just working on the art and just trying to make it look half decent so it looked like a somewhat playable game and then I got right into the code and for the most part I didn't really have any issues I think I reused one script but when it all came down to it and the project was done I got literally one basic level in I wish I could have done more but I couldn't 
So I got one level in and the animations are bad and everything, but I did it and I am proud and I might continue it in the future, but yeah, so here's some gameplay. <laughs>